I'm proud to present some of the highlights of our 2020-2021 budget that this year will see Council invest $567 million in the combined operational and capital budget. As part of the budget, we also adopt the 2020-2021 operational plan for the coming year. This year, we have faced the extra challenge of our economy and society through the COVID-19 pandemic. Council has met this challenge in a financially responsible way while providing relief that is complementary to state and federal government assistance. Council is no different to other organisations or indeed households and COVID-19 has forced change. Like so many impacted, we've needed to adapt to ensure that essential services are impacted. For Council to maintain its long-term financial sustainability, we will see a general rate rise of 2.5%. This increase is consistent with our previous financial plans and has enabled Council to provide support measures as we navigate through the pandemic as a community. The net increase from rates and charges amounts to an average 2.95% or $1.85 per week. It provides a small surplus of approximately $72,000 that meets Queensland Treasury's requirements and caters for unexpected expenses. Water security continues to be at the forefront of policy discussions for Council. The 2020-2021 budget is the third year of our five-year price path for water as a result of advice from Queensland Treasury Corporation to maintain a financially sustainable water network. Therefore, we will see an increase in water rates of residential properties of 4.1% and non-residential properties of 6%. Council's water business consists of a billion dollars in infrastructure, which requires a significant renewal or replacement investment. And this was the primary contributor to the change in water pricing. Council provided financial relief measures, including $125 rate relief in stage one of our pandemic response, meaning that the average residential property saw no increase in their rates for the 2019-20 financial year. The 2020-2021 budget will see the next pandemic response and has a focus on stimulating our local businesses who employ local people supporting local families. Council has for the first time separated our overall Capital Works program into two parts. The total Capital Works program of $215 million includes $165 million annual Capital Works with an additional $50 million structured as a pandemic response investment to provide genuine opportunities for the private sector. The purpose of this innovative Capital Works program is to stimulate local business that employs local people supporting local families who live in the region. The $50 million works program will see 64 shovel ready projects made available to the private sector through our procurement arrangements. Council's budget will support the community through this challenging time, but thankfully we will not leave a burden for ratepayers in the future. I'm very happy to support this year's TRC budget, delivered in extraordinary times because of the worldwide pandemic, but able to be delivered in a responsible manner, primarily because of the sound financial position of this region's council. I understand the disappointment that some sectors of the community feel that rates couldn't be limited to CPI for the upcoming year, but I'm sure the vast majority of urban and rural ratepayers appreciated the effective rate decrease that was provided in 2019-20 in our recent $125 rate concession. In addition, ratepayers and the region more generally will be the beneficiary of the economic stimulus package that has been developed by Council in the form of a record boost in Capital Works. I'm particularly pleased that country townships and regions will benefit greatly by this increased expenditure. The Capital Works program and the services provided to the community are in a large part responsive to the feedback from the community as a result of community surveys taken over the last couple of years. Council's awareness of the community's expectations has been greatly informed by responses to our website. In fact, each month has seen more than 300,000 page views and the Council's social media pages are attracting more than 55,000 followers. Of major concern to Council has been the health and well-being of our staff during the pandemic with 558 employees working remotely. Notwithstanding the difficult times in which we live, Council has continued to deliver essential services. 
I also want to acknowledge the Council preparedness to foster apprentices and traineeships. Council will be employing 112 locals from the region as apprentices, cadets, trainees and graduates. Reflected in the Capital Works program are councillors' commitments to our bold ambitions to build our rich traditions of customer service and always for a better Toowoomba region. Thank you.